Flying fish row. Mm. Yes. Goodness very, very me. tasty. That'd be hard to harvest, wouldn't it? Oh. <laughs> How do you catch oh. that stuff? <laughs> <laughs> a little uh, mash here with uh, a little what? Mash, mash. A mash. I'll translate mash. Mash, 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 yeah. yeah. Some mash with that, mate. Mate. You got your bread here, we're going to slice that up as well. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> now I can understand you, mate. <laughs> Who is the best cook oh. on Ramsey Street? Um, I would have to say Susan Kennedy. Liar! Mummy Susan. Liar! Hey! Hey! Don't pick on Susan, all right? She's a good oh, woman. <laughs> She's a great woman. She's a good cook. She's, she makes a good home, a good wife. <laughs> Ouch! And what sort of things would Susan make? Oh, look, she'd make stuff like uh, roasts and uh, lamb shanks. Yeah, a nice hearty stuff. Nice hearty home nice hearty style stuff cooking. made with love. Made with love, stuff that would keep a family together. Stuff that would keep a family together <laughs> if it wasn't for that <laughs> fixin' over there. Beautiful. Give that a stir for me, mate. I will I'll certainly help you out, Carl. <laughs> Happy to help. Thank you. Now, what about your lentils here, mate? I think sometimes people would be a little, uh, they'd be a little worried about lentils because they don't quite know how to cook lentils. They're very obedient. They'll do exactly what yeah. they're told. Now, if I had used stock there, I can really change the direction of the dish. I could use spices in there. How is that again? They will absorb the... <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So do, um, we go, do we go right as well, or is it just a, <laughs> a left-hand move? We can do the right one. <laughs> <laughs> the left dance. That was almost like a shuffle off to Buffalo to the left. Uh, from my tap dancing days. You don't cook a lot at home or do you cook a lot at no, home? No, I'm terrible. What sort of things do you cook at home? Do you know what? I, I do have one sort of thing that I have learnt to a make. A signature dish, yeah, if you will. Yeah, I suppose so. I never had butter and cream in my diet mm -hmm. growing up in Japan, but I'm not afraid of butter anymore. You know, French food. <laughs> I can take it on. Akiko's not afraid of butter anymore, folks. <laughs> never. <laughs> what makes a tataki tataki? Um, what, what does it translate as? Hataki is like... You hit something. It's I'm hitting it with the, with the heat <laughs> of the pan. He's hitting it with the heat of the pan. Mm -hmm. Use some of the orange from the pantry, I'll use some of the sugar from the pantry. <laughs> Done. And then we'll catch a cab. <laughs> <laughs> Hitching a ride here with Alistair McLeod. Now, Al, tell us about your trip, mate. You just got back from Ireland. Is there, there's a thing here called Moroccaning seasoning. Moroccaning, <laughs> yeah. Is there? Serendipity, Al? me thinks. Hello, Al. Tell us about your trip, pal. Yes, all my trip, hi. Is that the sweet smell of success, or will it be the stench of defeat for our celebrities? Oh, Master, I well, can smell the stench of defeat from here. We'll find yeah. out in just a few minutes right here on Ready, Steady, Talk. Cool. Sydney, international gateway to the Pacific. Tourist hub for millions. But from a small business point of view, which tourists are the biggest spenders? It's the children. The children are the easiest tourists to get money out of. You ever take any of the tourists on scenic routes? Yeah, definitely. Valentine's Day is very sort of um, scenic route day. Scenic yeah. route day. Yeah. I'm just driving on the harbour bay. Holy moly! You gotta work. Yeah. You gotta eat. Yes. Two factors in life that we cannot escape. Isn't that the truth? Yes. Sing it out, sister. Say, that's the truth. That's the truth. Where are you going to get a house for $200? Um, in Queensland. Queensland. Of course. Under a minute to go. Let's dish. get all of this food out. We've got this beautiful uh, soba salad. noodle salad that we're going to put some duck on. Damien's got his little uh, steamed urchin, sea urchin goodness over there. <laughs> the custard. <laughs> the duck two ways. Yeah. Mr. Telford has got his beautiful tuna two ways. He's got his French tosto and these Can wonderful canapé canapés. We've also got the bread in the oven for the soup. How are you going, Miyabi? Almost done? Fantastic. Okay, those look beautiful. Can bring that over? They look absolutely That's wonderful. Yeah, put some Hold on. the row, put the row on. Down the wire, guys. Ten, Ten nine, nine, eight, eight seven, six, six five. Four, three, two, one, 
Stop cooking! Do you have a name for all of these wonderful dishes that you guys have created? How about hot in your heels with halloumi and honeycomb? Oh. Hot <laughs> on your heels with halloumi and honeycomb for Alistair McLeod. Fantastic stuff. <laughs> Oh, we're still laughing here. <laughs> Akiko's urgent to see urchin. Akiko's <laughs> urgent to see urchin. Oh, it's comedy gold. Boys, we have got a viewer question for you from Melanie Parton from Dundas Valley in New South Wales. Hi, Melanie. She wants your tip on cooking the perfect vegetable soup. She likes it thick and blended but she wants to know whether she should roast or boil the vegetables. Manu, can you help Melanie? Oh, you uh, Vegetable soup, roast or boil the veggies first. Roast? She likes it thick and blended. <laughs> Douche. Um, oh, well, um... <laughs> <laughs> she, she should uh, roast the vegetable. It concentrate the flavour of the carbon. <laughs>